Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater, and I am joined by Steve Morris from the Drags Deep Purple, Kansas, Flying Colors, Living Loud, tons and tons of great projects. And we're going to talk about Steve's signature Ernie Ball Music Man guitar. Now, this is based back on your original Telecaster, correct? Yeah, when I'm playing with the Dregs, it, it had evolved pretty much into a four pickup guitar. And this is basically the, the refinement of that and was the original Steve Morris model signature. And the, the switch over here is, is sort of like the, uh, um, the, the vestigial organ that, that slowly went away. So on the new Y2D model, it's not there. But I, I use this for the... Yeah, I, I started with the Strat is, is, is what that goes down, down to. And that's just a Strat type pickup. Okay, so that's the, the, the single coil. Yeah, right? okay. Then you can combine these two. Anyway, the way it goes is this guy is is the you know the reliable rhythm sort of sort of you know the this is an important feature the tone control changes the sound mm -hmm. some some guitars it doesn't you know it just it just makes it less troubling i like that a lot for for rolling on uh, getting vowel like sounds or maybe doing a, a chord line. As, and, and, which sounds different than doing it with a volume. So I, I use the tone control a lot. Uh, for instance, with Deep Purple, when I hit a, a chord, as soon as Ian starts singing, I roll off the, the high end. I'll, I do this all the time. And by, by rolling off the top end, it, it gives room in the mix to hear the vocals. <laughs> and my whole aim is to try to give our sound man a reason to keep me in the mix. Right. Normally, the guitar is just reduced to some you know, white noise in the background, and then suddenly comes up really loud, three notes into a solo. You know? Right, right. And I, I really try and work around and, and give space in the in arrangements. Like if, if uh, Don's playing a solo, I'll be, I'll be like, instead of going, I'll be like, Leaving lots of lots of holes if I'm going to play loud at all, right? And then it doesn't hurt at all to to bring down the the volumes. Which brings me to the reason for having the single coil pickup. Just what I'm doing right here is using the single coil. I've got the amp on high gain, so it's 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 a high gain distorted sound. Uh, but I'm, I'm getting a clean sound because I've got the, the, as you turn down, you lose some of the artificial harmonics that, that give you apparent high end. And so I turn the guitar way down, like to one or two, and then switch to the, the single coil pickup and I can get a clear. That's an example of how I would use these pickups in a rhythm situation. Mm -hmm. To so the an, another great thing about having a single coil right here, and you notice it's pulled far away from the strings. It's almost disappearing into the pickguard. Yeah, it's way down the pickguard, right? And that that is intentionally to lose gain. Mm -hmm. Helps me uh, control the gain. Combine it with the humbucking, and you get uh, well. I just I love this kind of. 
sort of slightly um, honky uh, uh, country. <laughs> So the, let me try it with a, a clean sound, maybe you can hear, hear this better. So. Kind of, uh, it's got a hollowed out, uh, mid-rangey, mm -hmm. slightly out of phase sound. Right. All right, and we move on. Uh, this was the, the Strat uh, rhythm pickup, mm -hmm. which we covered down here. <laughs> this, is, this is why people think that switching is confusing. <laughs> it makes sense to me. <laughs> Three once you, once you learn it, it's yeah. all right there under your fingers, right? The, this, this pickup is, is a, a fairly warm pickup, and the, one of the reasons it is is because of the placement. If you put 24 frets on the guitar, you won't get this kind of sound. Right. The, the, you could take the exact same pickup and just move it up here and you'll get a totally different sound. So the placement is, is a big part of this. This is, this is a nice smooth. And the idea is to, to have a utility uh, kind of warm for clean things. Combine it, the two pickups together and you get Then when soloing, I switch, when I'm up high, I use this pickup. Now I'm back on the bridge pickup, because down low you need the harmonics, the mm -hmm. high harmonics, to bring those low notes out or else they'll get too muddy. So that's, I switch all day long as, as I'm playing anything. Uh, if you happen to be here at the, at the clinic, you'll see that so that's that's my bread and butter right there going between these pickups mm -hmm and being able to combine them, like I said, for clean things and, and having the combinations and as well as the single coil as a place to go to to bring, to collect the sound and not have it be distorted and out of control without having to go to a pedal board or anything. Right, right. So that's, and it's very light guitar. It balances, mm -hmm. all my guitars have to balance because I spent a, have spent a lot of time practicing. Right. So if you can sit comfortably with the guitar and You'll notice here there's no cutaway. Mm -hmm. The reason for that is to provide the same sort of support as a similar support as you would find on an acoustic guitar, but rounded edge. Mm -hmm. So it's comfortable, light, balanced, but it, it doesn't feel so different to where if you pick up a, a, an acoustic guitar that you're, you're playing a foreign instrument. Right. And uh, fender spacing on the frets, mm -hmm. uh, jumbo frets, and uh, 22 instead of 24, mm -hmm. so that this can be in the right place. Right, you get the, that harmonic. And I love these kind of features where you can adjust the truss rod with just a nail or something. Don't instantly. have to take the neck off. Instantly. Yeah, yeah. right, right. And, it, you know, as I, I flew from uh, uh, Florida, where it's 99% humidity, right. to the desert, uh, you know, where everything just instantly gets dried up, it's, ni it's nice that it, if, if I don't, you know, if I just pick up and say, oh, this is a little bit that, you know, I or Tommy can just, it's done. And tweak it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're ready to go. This, this feature is something they suggested, which I really like now. Um, with with a, the Fender, I had to have a string tree, mm -hmm. two of them, to keep the strings from coming off. These are shorter and a straight pull. There's no, there's no going off at an angle. Right. Like some other guitars. And best of all, it's shorter. I can put it in a gig bag, carry it underneath my arm, and get it on board 
playing all the time. Nice. Yeah. Well, there's been two, in, two very weird instances where I had to go through some changes, but um, they're, they're, that was like 9-11 paranoia stuff. Right. But normally I could get it in the overhead of any small commuter. Mm -hmm. Which, That's an accomplishment. Yeah, for, and it's, it's very important to me. Yeah. Because I've seen that, you know, how much love the uh, luggage gets. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Well, obviously the guitar is perfectly set up for, I mean, a lot of players have a dynamic approach to playing, their volume goes up and down, but I would say that you also have a tonally dynamic approach, that you're constantly working with your tones and things, and this guitar is perfectly set up to uh, facilitate that. Oh, yeah. It's, it, this, this is the guitar, if I had to play any gig, you know, just I'd play all night and changing styles and, you know, for, for being in a cover band or something like this, I, I would think it would be perfect. Yeah, I don't know how much more versatile you could get. Well, that's, and best of all, it's light. You don't, it doesn't hurt to, to wear it all night. Right. If you have questions on this or any other Ernie Ball or Music Man products, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.